2011 Corvette Z06 Limited Carbon Edition, which actually is pretty friggin' awesome. It's got the carbon pack, is what they called it, which was insane brakes, flared wheel arches. Somebody was saying the body might be a carbon Kevlar composite, not the normal fiberglass. There are some of the body panels are actually carbon fiber, like the, the wings, uh, the rear quarters, I'm pretty sure are. It is a very, very special car. There is not many of these. Well, even the standard Z06s were, were an insane sort of crossbreed of a track car to a road car, and this is just taken it to the next level. You probably see us bouncing around a lot. It's, it's a stiff, very, very honed chassis, I suppose, for lack of a better word. It feels direct. It feels insane what, to be in. What feels insane is these brakes. These, they're the same brakes as what you'll find on a Ferrari Enzo. They're not similar. Same part number. They have the same brakes. In fact, believe it or not, a couple of things on this vehicle were actually designed and manufactured in combination with Ferrari and GM. The brakes were one and the selective dampening for the suspension. That's right, that was designed in partnership with Ferrari and it was used on, I think the 599 was the first car that had it. Somebody was telling us, we're not 100% sure, but it's basically Ferrari brakes, Ferrari suspension and an insane Chevrolet engine. It's got the Z06 engine, which is the 427. I think out of the box it runs around 505 engine horsepower. This one's not standard though. What's it got? It's got the... This one's had a Holtec cold air intake. It's got whoa, some massive exhaust headers. Yeah, the headers look insane. We're trying to get a picture of the headers. A baller exhaust. Oh, the noise! Oh, the crackle! Oh my god! Um, a, a proper dyno tune with the... After the accessories, it's got like full exhaust, so... Uh, like 100 cell cats. Yeah, factory 505 horsepower. This one is now 500 at the wheels. Oh, and 700 newton meters of torque. It's... Oh, wow, I am excited to see what this is going to do time wise. The only issue is it's insane torque and power with a manual, and the roads are a little bit wet. Mildly moist, one might say. Mildly <laughs> moist. Yeah, I think this, well, the standard car was around, I think it was sub four seconds. That's factory car, brand new, probably fresh surface, everything perfect. And this one is more of a handful. What's, what are you reckon? Are you going to be quicker than standard or is it going to be harder to get off the line than the standard one? Dry, perfect conditions, it would be so much quicker. Given today's circumstances, it, it's going to struggle for grip. It's going to struggle. All right, well, let's go and see what it does. Considering how much wheel spin there was, 
That was insane. Like the Evo was a 5.6 with just all grip. Yeah. And this did a 5.8 with just all wheel spin <laughs> and rear wheel drive only. It was pretty much wheel spinning the whole way, the entire run. Um, and even even at that, you can see it got to 90 relative, like blisteringly really fast in, in, in first gear, but then just had to grab another two that, that gear change to make it to 100, which is what's surprising how, how long the gears are. This has got to be one of the most theatrical cars I've been in in such a long time, and I'm so thankful that the owners let us borrow this car for today and put it through its paces. The, the, the just any Corvette is rare in Australia, let alone a Z06, and let alone the carbon version. So we'll try and get a picture of this, um, a comparison of this to a, a standard Z06. It's a good idea. You don't realise how pumped these are. Yeah, this thing is an animal. It is insane. Um, and it's also, people bang on about how basic these American cars are, and how sloppy they are, and got leaf springs in the back. It, it's so direct, and this car handles. It definitely handles. And go! Oh, God, that noise! Far <laughs> out! Thank you, sir. <laughs> Such a good car. Oh, I'm doing Toy, toys wise, it's got heads up display. There's electronic dampening control, electric seats, electric mirrors, electric everything. But it still feels so raw and it's not sloppy. It does. It's got that GT3 feel about it. push this around a track. I think it would just, it would scare V8 supercars, I think. Oh, wow. Well, anyway, we're nearly back to dropping it off. Let us know what you think of the Corvettes. They're, um, they're not many people speak about it. Not many people know about them. Oh, I had no idea you could get one that was this friggin' cool. Yeah. This, but, oh. I hope, hope you guys have enjoyed some insights into this car and some eargasm noises, <laughs> I, I hope. <laughs> Um, I, I would like to see this car back and maybe with some sticky rubber dry, on a, yeah, on a dry, dry surface, road, yeah. yeah. It's, it is just struggling for traction. But if you did like it, please leave a comment, like and subscribe. And if you've got a Corvette and you've done a 0 to 100 run, let us know what you've got and what yeah. sort of power it's got if you've got bolts or a tune and all that sort of stuff. Yes. Thanks very much guys. Peace.